Some time ago, I made a whole heap of videos on UHF transmitter modules. Normally designed for low power, data or remote control applications, I was able to transmit voice over around 1.5 kilometres. With such good results from the transmitter, I thought I'd try to see if the receiver could be used for a similar purpose. Here's a test jig I made up from parts of a dismantled receiver. Ignore the variable capacitor and the parts to the right, they're not used. But what is used is the voltage regulator giving 5 volts, a 1 transistor audio amplifier, the speaker and the module itself. I've got about 15 centimeters of wire here as the antenna. Here's a circuit showing how it all goes together. 5 volts is supplied to the plus 5 volt terminal of the RX module via a 7805 voltage regulator. The audio output, often labelled as data on the board, goes to a 1 transistor audio amplifier, which through a 1K to 8 ohm transformer can just drive at low volume a small speaker. Just applying power, you can hear a gentle hiss from the speaker. Here's an FM handheld. Although these receiver modules nominally operate around 433.9, they're actually broadbanded. How broadbanded? Well, I'll just see if I can get quieting over a wide transmit frequency range. Here I'm on 433.925. It still goes quiet at 433.825. And I go above 434. And it's still picking stuff up. In fact, it's at least 500 kilohertz broad. I'll go a bit further away. 434 megahertz. Even at 435, I'm getting quieter. Just see if it can actually detect some modulation. I'll press DTMF and see if it can be heard. What I'll now do is I'll go down the street using a 1 watt handheld and see how far I can get. I'll press the PTT in distinctive ray so you know that it's me and not some other signal. Next experiment is to do a range check with the FT817 operating as a transmitter. This time transmitting modulated CW on 434 MHz. About 400 meters away the signal could be clearly heard. So that's the results from a quick walk around the block. The wide selectivity receiver is a limitation and makes it susceptible to interference. So, unless you're in the middle of a desert or a country area, then your range may be limited by local noise. Also, as a receiver of voice, it didn't seem to work. 
but it would be fine for its intended use of remote control type or data applications. If you want to make sure you don't miss my or anyone else's videos, why not subscribe to get an email alert? You can do that by clicking on any of my videos. You go to the little cogwheel and then a new screen opens. Make sure you check the box, send me all notifications for this channel and then save it. Then you'll never miss a new video.